Hello, Purse Junkies. Welcome back. Yes, I am here with another video. I am here with a... What's in my bag video. So, folks, this is her on the inside. She's a mess. And I have a garbage can right here just waiting on all the trash that's inside of this bag. Now, let's talk about my day. I got up at 8 o'clock this morning. And my daughter-in-law's mother went shopping for her 40th anniversary renewal, bowel renewal gown. So we went out looking for her gown. Now, mind you, I found a little corner and I sat off to myself because you guys know I can't do too much. Um, but we had Pookie and Busta Rhymes with us. Lord, my nerves are shot. Let me tell you. Two little boys that got the energy of a football team. I, When football season ends, I'm good because the eldest one, he just be too tired. He just wants to sleep. And the baby, he just enjoys going to the park and playing. So they're tired. But when it's off season, oh, Jesus, Lord, Father, pray for me. So I told him, I said, when Grandma get home, she went to her room and don't knock on my door. And I meant that. Don't knock on my door. Their mama and papa are home. Yeah, do what you got to do. So I had to get that off my chest because my nerves are shy. Ooh. Even, um... Um, the other grandmother, I know she was like, oh, can y'all please go? Because these cheering off the chain. Um, but I need to clean out my purse because I've just, I've been home for about a week or two now. A week. A week. And is it a week? Yes, a week. And... I really haven't cleaned my purse. What I've done is just dump from one bag to the next, 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 right? So, I need to clean out this bag. Something's in my mouth. Hold on. We just came from a restaurant. One moment. Okay. I knew something was just disgusting. So, look, first thing. That was just me from me wiping my hands. So, Paper towels. All right. And, you know, I was trying to calm little fella. So I had to bribe him with some candy. It didn't work. It didn't work at all, so that's more trash. We went to this restaurant where they serve, it's like an ice cream shop, but they have like burgers and salads and all that. And let me tell you, I got a burger. That thing was good. I am done for the night. I don't need another meal. I am good. I just have a nice cup of tea and I'm good. Um, I, I always can use these. So we're going to leave that there. And I think this is a Timu. I think this is a Timu find. Um, and inside of here, I'm really trying to minimize what I have in my bags, but it's not working. I just have some lippies that I use and... Um, some tweezers for these Aunt Bonnies that the older I get, the more they just decide to come in. And they're gray. <sighs> but, you know, I embrace my age. All right, this is trash side. This is the keep side. I have my earbuds for travel. And, of course, you know, you always, I need to refill this. This has alcohol in it, and this is another Timu um find because you know we've been slipping with the um we just been slipping so i went back to old school and look i keep antibacterial wipes i keep alcohol in there i'm not crazy about the hand sanitizer unless it's just a clear one like the bath and body works i have it but i don't know i just can't get with the scented ones I have it here, but I just can't get with the scented one. So it's like in case of emergency. And I have these eye drops because let me tell you, the ones from the doctor is 40 something dollars. And honey, 
it's more all over my face than in my eyes so we are back at the visine but i did find one that's a gel like um uh <clears throat> it's like a gel medication and it works well but i left it home in florida so there you go and then i just have this is like my travel um um like when i'm traveling i just want to throw something in my bag so i have my little ginger shoes my sour sock tea bags listen if you have never had these get you some oh delicious and then i have some dental floss in here because on monday a sister goes back to the dentist and i have my advil pm if you know you know and I have my Yaya's Glow. I'm waiting on my shipment to come here, folks. And you will be able to purchase your Yaya's Glow if you are interested in um, one of her um, what you, mystery boxes from Yaya's Glow. Please DM me directly. Um, they are $25 um, she is selling them at and they are mystery boxes but trust me when you see the products you will love them so I'm just waiting on her package to come and we will um, display but if you're interested please DM me or check the description box for um, the what do you want to call it Poshmark Poshmark link and you can get it directly through there and it will be shipped out to you I have some more boogie whites and I have my sunglasses, which I need desperately because I have light sensitivity, um, like from the sun, not just this kind of light. Um, and I have my new specs, which I am loving, like the pressure that's off my eyes, like with the other ones. Oh my God, it was so bad because you know, my vision changes and, but while I still had the, I didn't have as much pressure, there was still pressure. And at some point it just becomes annoying. So finally we got my glasses, no more pressure. And they they fit my face. And these are lady glass. These are for ladies. They fit my face. What do you guys think? And I just stay basic. Like before my glasses, you know, I would spend a, a, a pretty penny, but this time around I said, you know what? Um, considering I had to get the mouth of my fix, but ladies, I went to Lens Crafters and I paid for everything through insurance, but the quality at Lens Crafters far greater. I mean, like the frame itself, the lens, um, just everything. Like I'm not constantly pushing up. I, I love it. I love it. So enough of my rambling and then this is my little toiletry bag we all know what i carry in here um i carry what is this for um oh child, i'm from south florida if you know you know these are yeast guard plus pills <laughs> ladies always keep you some um benadryl i have some lady feminine wipes i have some lady feminine um pads in here so, and this is also another Timu purchase, which is kind of like, I think it's falling apart, but it's always in my bag. And then I purchased this at Z Dollar Tree. Um, I like this and it's just kind of like hard to find, but this doesn't need to stay in my purse because I use a different one um, for my body. I keep... A moisturizer on me at all times now because well in my purse um when I was home I don't know for some reason my face just my eczema got so bad I just had an eczema flare and it was really bad I mean my skin was like a lizard it was just flaky and itchy and oh it was bad so um my sister said to get her hobo oil and stop everything I'm using. But the one thing that I am using now is the snow mucin, just the cleanser and the cream. But when I keep this in my purse, so if I'm out and I haven't put 
any cream on my face moisturizer at least i have it and i think this came in a subscription box because i think it did i would not i wouldn't just go out and buy it so and these are my little tweezer set that i brought back from home because you know i just i don't know these how the older you get things change and more lip gloss i don't know i'm like more into lip gloss than lipsticks go figure and i'm only using eczema <laughs> if you know you know people if you know you know if you have eczema you know right right all right remember when i said i don't i didn't keep that hand cream because i have you guys know how I feel about my snail mucin. So anything that has a snail on it, a sister's getting it. So until this is used up, that's going to stay over there. And for that day that you forget to put on deodorant, always have some deodorant on you. And all right. You should always have some type of smell good inside of your purse so I keep these little um body mist from Bath and Body Works that was free I've had this for some time this is from Sephora it's a lipstick and this is the color just natural I'm just I'm just that natural kind of girl and then I have this book that I received from a beautiful young um, YouTuber Dreadhead Asia. Um, she has a small business. I also purchased one of her, um, what do you call them? Like a little safety protect yourself um, type um, chain. It has like the little cat eye, the little wand that you can use to break glass, a whistle, mace. It has a little fur ball to lip gloss. Yes, I'll show that in another video. Maybe in this video. I have more um contraband that's what i call contraband let me see if i can find that thing anywhere where is it excuse me oh well i guess not it was up here but not anymore all right this is gonna be another video then honey i'm back on the you got to be and folks, if you guys have not tried this, I would say get it. It is like probably one of the best things ever. This is a, hold on, uh, for your eyebrows. And you just, it just kind of like helps keep them in order. So it's a wax pen. But for someone like me, it's perfect. And it's from e.l.f. I have like two of these. And, folks, you know, in case you got to brush your teeth, you know, you're out, you need to brush your teeth and pick and floss. I'm, I'm always prepared. Always. Okay. Now, the next item that I have here, I've had this since 2017, 2018, and I didn't carry it much, right? And, and so I was home recently, and I have a couple of um, designer bags that... I rarely carry because I don't go nowhere, right? So I um, pulled out a wallet because I said, wait a minute, I pay uh, dollars for this wallet. I better use it, right? And folks, this is my LV wallet. This is a men's wallet. It is. But I carry it as my wallet. And I am going to carry this, oops, uh-oh, I am going to carry this, I'm sorry guys, sorry about that, but this is, you know, real time, no shade, I'm going to carry this until the wheels fall off, because that's how long I've had it, and this thing still looks brand new, I probably can sell it for the same price that I, I purchased it at, because that's how well I've maintained it. So, 
that's my LV carry wallet. And then I have my little LV key case. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. Um, what else is in here? Let's go to the little pocket. Oh, in the pocket, I have more user. And then this is for my brow. I carry this. So if I'm in the car and I need to do my brows. Now, the reason why I'm carrying this more now, because when I was home, I went and got my brows done and she messed them up. So they have to grow out. I have to walk around like woolly mammoth for a while before I go and get them done again. So that's where I am. But folks, that is everything. Well, with the exception of a candy wrapper because we just about ate all the candy at the little bridal store and some money. That's everything that is inside of this purse. Now, tomorrow is Sunday's best. I have to get back into my Sunday videos um, showing exactly what I am wearing to church, which I am going to pick out my outfit tonight and my purse. And yes, I'll be posting that video on tomorrow. And here are the nails, folks. These are the nails. I told you all, I am liking stilettos. I love them. Now, yesterday I did my daughter-in-law's nails and Lord, like a fifth grader did them. They are lumpy and bumpy. And I think it's because I put too much product on it. I did, I found down, she has a, a nail tip on, right? And here they like their nail tips. They like their nails short. I like doing long nails, but neither here nor there. I have to learn to do everything. And so I, so that her natural nail growths are healthy. We did not take the nail tip off. What I did was I put a builder gel on, right? Then I went and I put a base coat on the builder gel. There's a base. I put a base coat on it, right? Then I put two layers of polish on and then a top coat. That was just too much. She was walking around looking like Herman Monster. And meanwhile, I look at my nails. She all lumpy bumpy. So I told her, you know, we're going to file them down today and get her back to normal because she can't go nowhere and say, oh, my mother-in-law did these. They'd be like, yeah, your mother-in-law can't see if she did that. And then they come look at my nails and my nails look like this. But here's the difference too. Every time I do their nails, they fall asleep. I'm like, is my touch that gentle that you just fall asleep? Everyone, every time I do nails, they're just, they fall asleep. So I'm going to start charging them for massage therapy. What do you think? But yes, these are my nails. And I also have a question. I use an Eno Couture polish. And I just find that Eno Couture polishes are very thick. And I love the Eno Couture base coat, top coat, peel off, gel polish. I love the Eno Couture soak off um, gel glue polish, you know, for tips. Um, anything clear, but like the polishes are just very, very, very thick. And unfortunately for me, I, I think I can use it, but I'm going to have to get a different type of brush because if I use the brush that comes with the, the, if I use the applicator that comes with the polish, it just goes on too thick and no. So that's my dilemma. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much, ladies, for joining. Gents and everyone near and far. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share. Your feedback is welcome. Um, for my oldies but goodies, welcome back. I want to get back into my what's in my bag videos, but also we're just going to continue to work on my nails also because it's so relaxing for me. I love just, it's just relaxing. And one of my comments, the young lady says, oh, so she's a nail tech now. I said, no, it's just another hobby of mine. And the only family members trust me to do their nails. I can't go out and do nobody's nails with these eyes. Are you serious? I'm going to take, I, you know what I am going to do? I am going to take a picture of my daughter-in-law's nails and then y'all be like, yeah, girls, stick to just creating videos mm -mm. and doing your own nails because Woo. But you guys have seen some of my work. I, I do pretty good. I, you know, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. 
Um, but yes, thank you so much for joining me. And guess what's coming up after this? A Shein haul. Yes, it is because I've added more products to my nail collection. So folks, I will catch you in the next video. You're going to see the same shirt, just a different haul. So until the next video, see you in a few.